When you guys think that you're done with your coil pot, remember that you need to have two inches built up from the cylinder three different kinds of decorative coils one traditional coil the traditional coil doesn't count as the decorative coil and then you're going to need to look at cleaning up the surfaces so once i get all these coils on here i can use my paintbrush because i can't reach into um, the cracks and crevices to clean it with my finger but i don't want to use a ton of water so i'm going to wring that out a little bit so i don't want a lot of water because i won't actually see what's going on so it's not just one time and i'm done I'm gonna go over the surface. I can clean up the coil from all those fingerprint marks on there. And I'm just going back and forth on that coil, cleaning everything that I can see. And you guys might need to change your angle too. So if I look at it this way, I'm gonna see something different than I saw before. So use a paintbrush to clean up your coils, including your traditional coil. Finger burnish what you can. Use a flat metal scraper if you messed up your base or finger burnish on the cylinder if you guys messed that up. Now the inside, this is obviously not done because I'm using a student example. Um, what you guys will do is if you have large dents on the inside or if you need to fill a space to smooth it out, because right now I can't smooth that completely flat but I'd like it to look a little bit better, I can take some clay just like we did with our pinch pots and let's say right here I have quite a dent and I'm just going to press it into the surface and it has to be that soft clay. Otherwise it's going to take a lot of force and then you guys are going to end up breaking your coils. So I'm just pressing it in there, smoothing it out and spreading it out. So then that way I can get a more even surface on the inside. We can also take the backside of paintbrushes, backside of our ribbon tools, and we can smooth out that surface by running it over the area. What that does is gets the big dents out so when you take your sponge over the top of it it'll smooth it out too. So we don't get to put these on the drying rack when you finish unless they're completely cleaned up so make sure you guys are cleaning these really well.